In today's video, we're going to be breaking down a viral short that I had edited in DaVinci Resolve. This can work in studio version or free version, so no need to worry about any of that. And guys, I'm running the biggest sale on all my editing packs right now. The all-in-one bundle, Motion Text Pro, is literally 90% off. So go check in the first link in the description, the most premium DaVinci Resolve editing assets. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. Cool, guys. So we're just going to jump straight into this tutorial. So as you saw in the beginning, the example of what we'll be learning today, um, I just want to go over briefly that the hook matters a lot. And this is what I was able to achieve for my hook. Now, this is in the Motion Text Pro. So if we come to Timeline and we go to Designs, there's like 13 hand animated um, fonts and like all these different like things like, like this one. And, but guys, don't worry because right here in the top right, this is gonna be a video of how to create that shine text effect but everything else we're gonna learn in this video. So the first thing we have back here is a nice little money symbol. Now we have Tactic Sans as our text font. Now this is a low key glitch, because if you use Tactic Sans, which is the fonts are all in my pack, but you can also download this for free yourself, and you do money symbols, it turns out to be like this outlined money symbol. So what we were able to do to achieve this effect right here is if we go to the Fusion page, all we did was add a rectangle node. So if I literally delete this, I can show you guys how I did this. So click on the template, and add a rectangle node in, make sure it's like the same size. We're gonna bring it like right here and we're just gonna turn up the soft edge and then we're just gonna bring it down like this or if you wanna bring it up like that, you can bring it up like that. That's gonna basically make it to where now you have that little soft edge with this effect right here. And obviously if you wanna get it that glow look, all you have to do is add some soft glow after the template and then add a simple zoom out in the beginning. So, so full-time YouTuber. And right now I have it muted for just the tutorial sake, but I'm gonna show you guys how you could do a crispy zoom out. Um, there's so many different ways you can do this. So we're just gonna go to the effects page. We're gonna just draw, jump straight into this. So go to effects and literally drag on an adjustment layer on the timeline. And we wanna make it about this big, you know, like I have it, for example, 20 frames, 19 frames long. Um, and we're just gonna go into the Fusion page with this. Now we're gonna hit Shift Space for a transform node and we're just gonna zoom in just a little bit. We're gonna hit a keyframe at frame zero. We're gonna go all the way to the end. We're gonna size this back up to one. We're gonna head over to the settings and go to motion blur and turn up that shutter angle. Make sure you open this little spline page right here and check mark this. And we're just gonna simply hit uh, Command Command A, then go to Ease and then go to In Cubic. That way you get this animation right here. So you could get that one or you can smoothen this out, double click, go to Ease and go to Out Cubic and that'll make it to where it gives that smooth animation just like that. Now on the all-in-one bundle, we have all those text animations too. So we have all these 50 text animations and then also those zooms. So it would just be drag and drops. But like I said, you guys could do all of this stuff by yourself. Like it does, it, it's not like that big of a deal. You know what I mean? So then we go into this part right here, crazy as that sounds and I'm a full-time YouTuber. So we're gonna go over how we did this up effect just like that, and then we're gonna go over how we did this up effect just like that. So this is called the dissolve text effect. So in theory for me, all I had to do is just drag this on right here, this up, and then just did it for me. Um, but if you guys want, we'll head to the effects page and we'll go to titles, drag on a text plus node just like this, and we're gonna make this the length of our clip just like so. We're gonna type in YouTuber. We're gonna use this font, Tactic Sans. I've been really messing with this font lately. We're just gonna size this up like so, and we're gonna put it like right there. Okay, all we're gonna do is simply go into the Fusion page. Now we're gonna hit Shift Space for a Transform node, and then we're gonna Shift Space for a Dissolve node. Now this is important, make sure you guys are paying attention. We're gonna disconnect this, um, and then also we're gonna add in a background node. This is gonna connect to the yellow of the background node, and then we'll connect this. So now we're able to see what we're doing. Um, simply go over to the dissolve and go to, just go to random dissolve, turn this down and then hit a keyframe and go about 20 frames forward and then turn it back up. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our animation. We're gonna size this down to like 0 0.3, hit a keyframe, go to frame 20 like that and then bring it back up to 0 0.5. For this one, we're gonna apply the motion blur and then open up this spline page, check mark the transform and then hit the zoom to fit button. You get these two points, so highlight the points and then double click and go to ease and go to out cubic. Now we have this, so come to the foreground right here of the background and then just turn the alpha down. Now you have the dissolve text effect, super, super, super clean, minimalistic, and you can add that as a preset too. Or like I said, you can get the 50 presets in the pack as well. So we have this, now the best part about what I just taught you is uh, it's not gonna lag. So like you can have this right here. This is the best thing about doing text. I love text. So size this down, YouTuber, 
and I can cut this here and nothing is gonna like change. So right here I say width, so we could do width, and then right here we cut this, and then this one I say just. So it's like so fire, because you can do an animation and it'll like change as you do that. So boom, just like that. Now we'll re-enable the original. I mean, it doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. Um, and then we have this little effect right here. So this is also a pretty cool little effect right here. It's so, so simple and easy. You guys would be mind blown to see how easy that effect is gonna be. So we'll work on that one now. We'll go to the generators and drag in a pretty much just a solid color. Um, we're gonna apply this at the length of our clip like so. Um, and guys, I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm not editing this front to back is because when I edit with the camera in front of my face, I don't have as much creative control because I only have like 20 minutes to do the video. Whether as when I'm t showing you guys, I got like, I made a whole day to create these tech effects and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this color look pretty cool throughout the video. So we're gonna take something in the video that matches. So my shirt right here, we're gonna come here and we're gonna just simply pick the color picker and we're gonna pick something like my shirt and we're gonna just bring it a little brighter to brighten the mood. So obviously now we have this like gray effect that looks like this, it looks super cool. So we're gonna bring this down. So now I'm just dragging in a screenshot I have of my YouTube page because obviously we're talking, in this video I'm talking about how I'm, I have 12,000 subs, which thank you guys. We're just gonna size this down, put it like right here um, and I'm gonna just double click and create this as a compound clip. Um, and then come into the fusion page. Now the reason I created it as a compound clip is now because if we come in here, it's this length, it's the exact length I want it. Let's say I don't create it as a compound clip and we come in here, look at how big it is. It's now this way, right? So an easy fix is just to double click, create a compound clip, go back in here and now you have this standalone. So we're gonna drag in this node right here and then we're just gonna size it up to like our liking, so like right there. And we're gonna just drag on these corner radiuses just like that. Now we're gonna size this up just a little bit. We're actually gonna zoom this down, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a cool little animation. So we're just gonna turn on dynamic zoom and then swap it. That way it's just continuously zooming in. And then we're gonna go into the fusion page and we're gonna hit shift space for a transform node. Um, and then I think I honestly wanna start like right here maybe. Um, we're gonna hit a keyframe and like I said, it has to be like a super quick animation. So we'll do like 20 frames and we'll just zoom it in like right here. Okay, nothing like crazy. And then we'll do the same property. So double clicking, Command A, easing out cubic. That way it comes in super fast, just like that. Now, since it comes in super fast, just like that, now it's gonna continue to animate because I have dynamic zoom on, which is insane. Now, last step is we're gonna come to the color page with this compound clip. So if we deactivate this, we can now come into this with the compound clip. And as you see, we have this standalone little effect right here. So we're gonna come to effects and we're gonna go to this radial blur, I think that's how you pronounce it. And we're gonna put the effect like right over the 12K mark. And we're gonna turn this down and we're gonna keyframe it at the beginning of the clip, okay? And then as it gets closer and closer and closer, we're just gonna size that, that radial blur up to where it's like, you know, obviously, you know, you only want me focusing on how many subs I have. So now if we play this through, we turn all these back on, boom, and then it gets really blurry, okay? Now, obviously, I add a little text effect in between it, um, and I show you, like, oh, I'm, tell I'm explaining that, yes, I have 12,000 subs. Um, so if, if I were editing my own videos, I would take, I would come up to the motion text, and I'd go to blur down, and I'd literally just slap this puppy in the timeline, come right here, cut this up, and then go to, let's just put it in a random number, 12,567, and then we'll do subs, We'll keep Helvetica on. And we're just gonna change this color to a nice little gray, like so. And then we're gonna size this up. And we're just gonna put it right beneath it, just like that. Um, now, if you wanna go one step further, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna show you guys how to do that. Now, this text is obviously looking a little blank, so we're just gonna size that down a little bit. So now if you see, boom, 12,000 subs. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how you could do that without the text effect because that's what we do around here. Like I said, we're gonna grab a text effect and we're gonna bring this in just like so. We're gonna slap this on. We're going to do 12,567 and we're gonna change the font to Helvetica Noon. We're gonna do a medium metallic. We're gonna size that up and we're gonna make it that color that we want it. So like right there. We could even do like the bold one. I like the bold one better, cool. 
and we're gonna bring this one over just like that. Cool. Um, and now we're just gonna head into the fusion page with this with this node. We're gonna hit shift space for a transform. Now guys, I made a video on transform. Transform is the most underrated effect in the game, bro, I swear. We're gonna come in a quick little 13 frames. We're gonna go back to 0 0.5, that, made, that way the animations, boom, speedy quick. And we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna highlight all the points. Sorry, I'm stumbling upon my words, man. I'm just giving so much sauce out, um, just like that, okay? So we're gonna do motion blur. We're gonna size these motion blurs up just like this. Honestly, bro, doing all these text effects again makes me realize how long it would take if I did the animations myself. That's crazy. So 12,000 and then we'll do like a couple frames after we'll just duplicate that. And then we'll just do subs just like that. Cool. And then we'll bring this one like right there. We just gotta like line them up, make sure they look good. So something like that. Um, and then I guess just one more little bonus effect that we can do to spice this up is after the, um, the, the transform, we're going to add a little blur in and we can go to this fit and go like 200 and zoom in. And we're just going to put a little blur on this. And what this is going to do is make it look really premium right there. Like look at the difference, which one looks better and blends in more. Like this is all blurry right here. This just looks too crispy. You know what I mean? Like it, it just looks out of place, you know? So we're gonna Command C and Command V that blur to save some time up. So boom, 10,000 or 12,567 subs, something like that. Boom, just like that. Now you have that effect completely redone without any presets. Um, so to show you that it is possible, you don't just have to buy the presets. Um, but anyways, we're gonna continue to go throughout this video. So boom, then we have just a simple zoom out. I just taught you guys how to do that. And the best part is, is most of this stuff is gonna be repeated. So like what I taught you is pretty much the basics and like what you need to edit a video like this, a viral short form video in DaVinci Resolve. Because now this is the same stuff as what I was teaching you before. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this effect right here, obviously. Um, so guys, there's this free plugin called Magic Zoom, the best free plugin. It's not even made by me, it's made by this guy named Mr. Alex Tech insane goaded DaVinci Resolve guy. He made a free plugin called Magic Zoom and it's literally saved me so much time and like mad respect to that dude. So go cop Magic Zoom because I like I was able to do these zooms right here with Magic Zoom and like not a not even like a touch of a button. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. Obviously, I'm not even gonna tell you guys about the presets because this was made with the preset. That's how easy it is to make with the preset. So we're just gonna slap on a nice little text plus node and we're gonna bring on we're gonna do Helvetica and we're gonna do a nice little bold. Okay, now we're gonna come here. We're gonna put it right above, under my chin. I'd say that size is pretty good. What do, what do you think? We're gonna head over to the Fusion page and we're gonna hit Shift Space for a transform node. We're gonna bring this one down to like 0 0.37 and then go like 20-ish frames forward, go back to 0 0.5. So all these properties are pretty much the same thing. You're noticing that this style has to do with this transform effect. So if you master this transform effect, you're pretty good to go in DaVinci Resolve. So I was able to create that animation in literally like a minute, just, just from doing that, you know what I mean? So boom, 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 boom. Now we're gonna add in a blur. Now we're gonna do things a little differently here. We're gonna turn this blur up like right here. This is the sauce. I'm giving you guys so much sauce in this video. We're gonna hit a keyframe at the front. We're gonna go above to like 10, frame 10, and we're just gonna turn it down. Boom, just like that. That's exactly how I created that text effect. I hope you guys know that. I'm giving you guys the ultimate sauce right now. So now all we have to do is as I say my words, so let's turn this audio back on. So I say, let's turn that up. So I say, and if, then I say me and etc. cetera. So, and if it's possible for me to do so if it's possible for me to do it, boom, just like that. Now I'm gonna show you guys uh, like a different version that you can do. So you could do that, that text effect. You can keep everything the same. Now we're gonna now we're gonna come to shading. We're gonna go to opacity and turn this opacity down. Now hit the keyframe and go like two frames forward, turn it all the way up. Go like one frame, go down, go two frames, go up. Go two frames, go down, go three frames, go up. Two frames down, one frame up, just like that. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a glitch effect, which is easily one of my favorite effects in DaVinci Resolve. So, and you can literally also just come here and do the same thing I was just doing. Possible 
Like it's all the same stuff. So boom. And if it's possible for me to, and if it's possible for me. So it just makes it look so premium. And if you want to, like another sauce is like this color right here, like around this color right there, is a, another premium color that does really well with uh, shorts and stuff like that. So just come here and go up like around there. Create the color as like that for the whole thing. So like, if it's possible for me to do it. And you can even do something like that. Just change the color for one little text. If it's possible for me to do it. And then just go on with that. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did this blur effect. So as you can see, when I come on here, I showed you guys how to do those animations, but you see it like blurs. I don't know why I came up with that, but it just looks so hard, bro. I don't know why it looks so good. Um, so I'm just gonna duplicate this. Now I'm gonna delete the effect for today's sake. So all I did was come here and I dragged on what's called Gaussian Blur, just like that. We're gonna go to the beginning of the clip. We're gonna turn the horizontal and the vertical strength down to zero. We're gonna hit a keyframe and we're basically gonna go to like the end, go like three frames, four frames before the end and turn that blur up like right there. What this is gonna do is it's gonna show a sense of, of urgency on the text. So like right now they're focused on me. The text comes in, it's kind of a little bit of a distraction. Then it blurs out. And then now you're only really focused on the text. And then I did that, the, the same thing for this old video of me too. Forcing me to edit his videos. Just like that. And all this stuff, the zoom outs, I told you how to do that. I taught you just how to Forcing do this animation. Just like that. I actually, just like that, I taught you how to do all of those. Like this and this B-roll too. This is just B-roll that I got from my camera. I mean, it's it's you have the guys have the same resources as me. I actually um, like this stuff. If I took it to the next level. Same stuff, I and I showed you guys how to do um, the same solid color. Now, the only thing I didn't show you guys how to do is this little clients thing right there. It's the same properties. All we did was use the font Apple Garmin, which is in my pack. So if we want to remake it, we just drag on a text plus, bring this right here. I'm going to show you how fast I can make this because it's so easy. Apple Garmin, boom. We're going to do bold. We're going to size it up. We're going to do clients. Actually, I'm thinking bold italic looks a little better actually. What are we gonna do? We're gonna change it to that darkish color, just like this. Cool. We're gonna pull this down like right here because that's where it was. And we're gonna go to the Fusion page. Now we're gonna do the thing a little differently here, okay? We're gonna hit Shift Space for a Transform node again. We're gonna come to the left this time. We're gonna hit a keyframe and we're gonna do the whole clip this time. So 0 0.5, go to Motion Blur, toggle that on. Command A, which is highlighting both the clips or the points and going to Ease and going to Out Cubic, Clients, just like that. Now we're gonna do the same blur method, except this time we're gonna actually keep the blur at zero and we're gonna come up to like frame eight and turn the blur up like that, maybe to like four. So now if we play this through, now you see you have that like nice little blur effect just like that. So like just play around with all these settings that I'm teaching you guys in this video and I guarantee you, you will be able to make viral short form content just like I do in DaVinci Resolve. And if you guys wanna edit like me, there's a no brainer offer down in the first link in the description, all my packs, 90% off. I don't even know why I'm selling it for that cheap, but you can literally take all my presets and what I use on a day to day to edit these videos that go viral and implement them into your business and your editing style. So it's a no brainer offer, go cop it, it supports me and it fuels these YouTube tutorials. If you don't want to, it's all good. Enjoy the free content. I will see you guys in the next video.